It's time for Around the Ozarks in 5. Brought to you by the Butterfly Palace and Rainforest Adventure, Adventure Cave Tours, and Talking Rocks Cavern. Here are your hosts, Ethan and Sarah Foreheads. Yes, indeed. And it is Friday morning. Boy, what a great morning it is. And uh, we're going to start with some news and talk about what's going on this weekend. Lots of stuff to talk about today. Another mishap on the steam train at Silver Dollar City. Uh, just yesterday, part of the steam train derailed again. Uh, they had the same type of incident about seven months ago. Uh, this time, though, the front wheels of a passenger car went off the tracks, causing it to separate from the other cars. Everyone is okay. Uh, SDC sent a statement saying new safety protocols worked, stopping the train and keeping the cars upright. But that train ride is closed for now. Man, that's odd that all of the sudden there are these problems with the train. The train's been there for for a really long time. Yeah. Uh, and, and maybe that's part of the issue. I don't know. But it yeah. seems strange that all of a sudden, with, twice within a year, uh, we've had these issues. Yeah. Well, the last time back in October, they did an investigation and figured out what happened, like some wear some springs that were different sizes, apparently. Anyway, so they made the fixes, but anyway, it sounds like at least the safety thing worked. I mean, you know, obviously it was worse last time because it tipped over. So, um, okay. Now to this, no jail time, believe it or not, for a man accused in a drunk driving fatal boat crash. Five people were injured in 2020 at Lake of the Ozarks um, who were on another boat. One of them, a 42-year-old woman, was killed. Authorities say 54-year-old John Dallas Bennett of Osage Beach failed a sobriety test that day and that he did not even try to swerve to miss hitting the other boat. He was given only two years of supervised probation and a $1,000 fine. Wow. One woman was killed, and also a teenage boy had a serious brain injury. I can't imagine. I can't, I can't imagine either, if honestly. that were my family and this guy. Well, did he plead guilty? Was he found guilty, or is this a, a, a to a lesser uh, charge to a uh, plea deal? Plea agreement. Yep. He pleaded out. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable, man! I, I can't imagine what that the family of the victims, plural are feeling about that. Right. So, well, and you know, they say, you know, X number of years in jail, blah, blah, blah. But since it is a suspended sentence, he won't actually spend any time in jail. Right. Yeah. So and sometimes, well, you know, sometimes the public hears like, Oh, the guy got 50 years. And, um, Sheriff Roy Cole from Webster County is the one. He always talks about truth and sentencing because it sounds like, Oh, we got 50 years. They threw the book at him. And then, you know, you find out that they were only in prison for four months or something. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it wouldn't be that drastic. Well, but it's, it's like a crazy, a crazy amount of difference, like way more than you would think. It's intentionally misleading the public to believe one thing when something completely different is happening. And Mike, uh, beyond the normal concerns about this sort of sentence for a drunk boater, what kind of a message does that send to other potential boaters on Lake of the Ozarks of which there are many. Uh, and you know, that, that's not like table rock Lake. That's a, that's a party. It's a whole lake. different world. Yeah. It's a different world up there. I've been there uh, as a kid and it's a party lake yeah. and it, it's, it doesn't send a very strong message. Right. Especially to, going into Memorial day weekend, whenever crowds, I don't know, it's kind of I mean, wild, but yeah, that, that that's really the story. is story. Uh, speaking of trials, today is the fifth day of the murder trial of the former Missouri State University instructor, Edward Gutting. Uh, he is accused, of course, of stabbing to death uh, former uh, co-worker, Professor Mark Cooper, to death in 2016. Gutting pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. And yesterday, before court wrapped up, two psychi psychiatrists who treated Gutting years before uh, Cooper was killed said... He was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder and obsessive compulsive disorder and said Gutting heard voices, uh, among other disturbing accounts. Authorities testified that Gutting's blood alcohol level was nearly twice the legal limit at the time of the stabbing. Uh, of course, this is a bench trial, meaning a judge, not a jury, will determine the verdict. And uh, he's not only accused of killing uh, Mr. Cooper, but 
but also uh, wounding his wife when he entered their home, uh, police say, with uh, a, a big knife. Yeah, I remember being out there. It was really wild. Um, there, there was apparently uh, an, an episode of Cops, the TV show Cops, being recorded that night. Uh, so they have video from outside. And we had video from outside of him sitting on the curb, all bloody and handcuffed. Right. But the and cop by the way, eerily calm, in my opinion. I mean, I, I don't know what you're supposed to look like after something like this, but he I, it was it was very strange. It was very, very strange. His demeanor right afterward. Well, the cops crew was with police when they rolled up on the scene. So they were right there. Is that right? And, how, how do I not remember that? I was out and, there. And apparently that, that episode, nothing from that aired, uh, as, at least as far as I know. Uh, they were saying. Maybe until this they, is over. They don't think that aired. Yeah. yeah. But can you imagine and, I mean, me the cops crew? Sometimes it's until this is over. Yeah. Uh, and the ER doctor, that emergency room doctor from Cassville, John Forsyth, is still Nowhere to be found. This is a, a crazy story. He was last seen Sunday morning as he left work. Uh, and then he was going back to work later that day and didn't arrive back at work. And that's when uh, they put out a search for him and called police because it was very unlike him to miss work. Tracking dogs have been brought in, helping police and search teams as they uh, search about 90 acres near where the park where his car was found. Uh, of course, if you have any information, you're asked to call police. Um, uh, the state is upping the requirements for training nursing aides. Unlicensed assistive personnel will now receive double the amount of hours to try to retain and recruit more nurse aides. They can take vitals and perform some uh, first aid there in the hospital. And apparently by extending the training for them, the nurse aides will be able to do more for patients at the hospitals. And since there is such a big shortage and even bigger turnover rate in nursing right now, they want to do more to train and recruit nursing aides to have some more help. So hmm. that's good. Um, Americans are having fewer children. That's disturbing, right? This I feel like we've been reporting this every census for the last how many ever decades now. Uh, that means the U.S. is getting older faster. That's what we've learned from the latest numbers in the 2020 Census Bureau. Um, they share that uh, the share of residents 65 or older grew by more than a third in the last 10 years. Uh, at the same time, the share of children declined. Yeah, you can't. That's not sustainable. <laughs> that's not sustainable. Right. Especially with all the, the bills that we're going to have to pay for uh, boomers and Generation X coming up and all of that stuff. Uh, it's I don't know what have to do. Babies, Get to it, people. Get to it. <laughs> I feel like we did our part three. Right. Three's company. There you go. Um Here's a story for you that is 0% surprising. Uh, shares of Target continue to fall. The stock closed down 3% on Wednesday as Target is facing some major backlash for selling gender-fluid bathing suits and showcasing large and very visible displays um, of LGBTQ plus merchandise, including for young kids. Uh, they are now facing losing sales, actually, from both sides of the issue, some angry that the large displays were there. Others are now angry that they moved those displays and the merchandise from the very front of the store, uh, apparently to the back corner of the store in some areas across the country. So it has become for them a lose lose. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Tis the season for pools. Today is a uh, opening season of pool season, which our family is excited about. Uh, most of the pools are, are opening this weekend, uh, but unfortunately in Nixa, there's a big leak in the pool. Uh, so it ain't opening. Uh, the Macaulay Park pool will be delayed this year. Uh, interestingly, they don't know yet exactly from where it's leaking. The Aquatic Center will remain closed until the pool is in condition to be open for the, uh, for the, to the public this season. That's a nice pool, too. Uh, that's a bummer for a lot of people who have already paid for a pass or have a birthday party planned there, something like that. If that's you, you're advised to call them and you're 
uh, you should be able to get a refund for that, which doesn't help you a whole lot, I know. Uh, meanwhile, other community, I, had, I, I got a refund for my hotel room that I didn't get over the weekend in Tulsa last season, last weekend, and that didn't help me out a whole lot. I needed the room, not the refund. <laughs> uh, many other communities are opening up pools this weekend, including Springfield, uh, Fast Night, Metter, and McGee McGregor Wading Pool all open on Saturday. Uh, it's tomorrow. Grant Park Beach opens on Sunday. And then Silver Springs Pool and Westport Pool will open on Monday, Memorial Day. So get out there and enjoy. Um, all right. Festus, Missouri. Pretty good drive from here. It's like three hours plus, but still. This is interesting. A black bear was hit and killed on I-55 on Tuesday night. The conservation department says that bear was likely two to three years old. They think it was a male, but they're not 100% sure because the severe injuries of the bear's body. So they are taking it in for testing. But it was indeed a black bear on the interstate. Wow. Could you imagine hitting a bear on the interstate? Yeah. Uh, I mean... Deer are scary enough. Yeah. But I don't, I mean, who knows the weight difference, but I'm, it would be a it's, fairly large difference, I think. Be quite a bit. Yeah. Do some damage to your vehicle. So I hope the people who hit it are okay. I think that they are okay, by the way. Um, all right. Lastly, this, there's a big car show this weekend in Kimberling City. We told you one at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Yeah. Now, this is a different one happening in Kimberling City on Saturday from 10 to 2. It is at the Kimberling City Center parking lot. Should be fun. Yeah. There's a little flyer that I printed um, from Kimberling City. Wow. So there's Black not a white. lot to it. It just basically says when and where. That's it. Black and white. We sh we spare no expense for this podcast. Black and white. No, I just printed it from our home printer. Come on. But it's good. There you go. Now you know. Um, and then we already told you about the big one happening also at the Ozark Empire Fairgrounds. Yep. The St Street Rod Nationals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that'll do it for us. Uh, are we off Monday? I think yes. we are, right? Yeah. Okay. So we will see you on Tuesday. Have a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. And, and God bless all of our servicemen and women. Uh, who the families of those who have given their lives because that's yep. uh, that's who we remember on Memorial Day. So if that's you, uh, may God bless your family for generations to come because of the sacrifice that your loved one and your family has made for all of us. We truly, truly appreciate it. Yeah. Amen. All right. See you Tuesday.